Welcome back guys! The Frontiers update for No Man's Sky dropped and added all new base parts and decorations! It also added a settlement feature that kind of works like the Some Settlements mod for Fallout 4, except it's super buggy and boring as hell. So there's no point showing it off. It's not possible to be creative there, it's basically a timer minigame worse than a free farming sim on mobile. The new base parts are beautiful though and I've spent the past week building a neat little base. The new landing pad doesn't snap to anything, so I put it on floor tiles and embedded it in roof tiles. And now the lights have loaded in. Splendid. This is a very beautiful paradise bubble planet without storms next to the Euclid core. Several other bases are on it. The textures of the new pieces are gorgeous. Mostly it's just a paint job on the old design, but there are new thick walls that make great foundations. They also added new roof pieces. Some of them are bugged and won't snap to anything right now, and stairs have bugged snap points. However, now there is a free placement feature, which is a very welcome thing. So I was able to glitch the stairs in place. On the other hand, they got rid of object rotation, so proper glitch building is still not supported. The new design for the base parts lets everyone build something really beautiful in an hour, it's never been easier. It took me quite a bit longer to place all the decorations, maybe 10 hours in total. I'm super happy with the result. It's my first walled in box settlement build, inspired by Fallout 4 a bit. There are no aggressive sentinels here, but an aggressive creature, so the walls do make sense. This is my attempt at a make-believe shower and bathroom. You have really limited choices in this game. Fallout 4 this is not. Now we have water towers. They don't do anything, but they look nice. This is the best I could do for tree planters. My alien researchers work here and they also have their little private quarters. Hello little blob, how are you doing buddy? Their rooms are small, but then again they have to work 20 hours a day of course, so they don't need more space. Well, this planet is so amazing. After the Origins update changed my other yellow grass planet to green, I'm super super happy I have a yellow one again. I like yellow. This is the utility shed slash refiner and engine room. Sadly it's not possible to place anything inside the new shelves. Same as vanilla Fallout 4. This looks so cool in my opinion. <laughs> no idea what exactly it's supposed to be, it's just decorative. And it's where all the noise is coming from. Sometimes there's this audio bug where it freaks out and produces a deafening horrible noise for a few agonizing seconds. Fun times with the buggy mess of every No Man's Sky update, right? And the water is a power hotspot? That's neat. I don't need much power here, but it's neat. This is the bar. Hello Games was obviously going for a Wild West style when they designed the new furniture and other stuff. I really dig it. Although this style clashes with the other old sleek futuristic objects. This kind of bothers me a bit. It's like when I see a Fallout 4 Institute build that has the junky workstations. That just doesn't match at all, you know? Up here is a dance floor. I still suck at composing tunes with a bite beat, so please excuse my lamb ass song. I do like the bass rumble though.
is a cramped little greenhouse. Hello, little gardener gag. How's it going? When I first heard that there would be settlements with NPCs, I was so thrilled. Oh my god. I thought my dream of actual settlement bases with settlers I can assign to stuff like in Fallout was coming true. Ah, uh, turnout bases are still deserted, save for the workstation aliens. And the settlers of the new settlement feature just walk around and do nothing. Extremely disappointing. Like all features, Hello Game adds, it's shallow and bare bones. He is hoping they improve settlements. I would really, really love that. The fireplace was added a while ago already. I finally have a use for it. Looks much better in combination with the new base parts in my opinion. Another bathroom with a kind of toilet and a bathtub. This is the home cinema with a fancy stereo and a kind of Blu-ray player. The barbecue sundag. Just imagine there's actually people here. Like, a lot of people. This is a kind of gambling table. I shrunk the plates as much as I could. They're supposed to be like playing chips. I love all the new canopies. Really gives spaces a lively settlement look. Now if only I could have NPCs here. Hello games, please. A lot of people complain how dark everything is. How little light any of the lamps provide. I actually think it's cozy. I personally hate bright LED lights. Horrible invention for homes. You go blind if you look at them directly. Ugh. This is the canteen. I'm not sure if the counterparts are supposed to snap together. They don't and I wish they did. And that's pretty much it. That's my empty frontiers base. And here's the usual bird's eye view of the layout. I hope you enjoyed this build. Leave a comment if you did. It always brightens my day. I'll probably take a break from No Man's Sky again until they fix settlements on all the base part bugs. There are so many snapping and collision bugs and the old prefab parts are partially broken too. Meaning all bases are broken. This kind of sucks. Which is fine because before Frontiers I started working on that cursed Raider racetrack for real this time. Guys, I tell you, the layout of the obstacle track is 90% done. I'm positive this time I'll get it finished this year at long last. Fingers crossed I don't lose my inspiration again. Thanks for sticking with this little channel guys. I hope you've all been getting through this pandemic okay. Stay safe and healthy and until next time.